On December 7, 1941, a significant event took place that would forever change the world map. At U.S. Navy base, an unexpected disaster was about to occur, catching everyone off guard. Doris Miller, an African-American chef on a battleship, started his day by serving breakfast to Navy officers. Afterward, he began working on collecting the laundry. At 7 o'clock in the morning, Doris heard a siren that no sailor wants to hear during their service. He immediately came out and was astonished to see the sky filled with Japanese bomber aircraft. In an instant, the entire naval base appeared to be in ruins, as the Japanese aircraft specifically targeted and destroyed American ships. This attack took place at the U.S. Pearl Harbor Air Base. Today, we will explore why Japan had the courage to attack a country like the United States, why Doris Miller, the chef, received the highest American award, and why America retaliated against Japan. This intriguing story takes us back to 1941 during World War II when America took a significant risk to save China, the same China that America publicly criticizes in 2023. World War II had been underway for three years, with Germany and Italy on one side, and Britain, the Netherlands, and France on the other. Initially, America remained neutral in the war, as they had suffered greatly during World War I and wanted to stay out of the conflict between Europe and Asia. However, there was one country that continuously bothered America, and that country was Japan. Due to its limited natural resources, Japan began capturing neighboring countries one by one to meet its resource demands. Large areas of Korea, Taiwan, and China were now under Japan's control. In the Pacific Ocean, Japan had its sights set on the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia, but there were obstacles. Malaysia was a British colony, Indonesia belonged to the Netherlands, and the Philippines were a neutral territory under U.S. influence. These countries were concerned about Japan's expansion because behind Japan stood Hitler, who was an enemy of Britain and America. In July 1941, America made the decision to stop supplying oil to Japan. Japan heavily relied on imported oil, with 80% of their oil coming from America. America presented a condition to Japan, they must first withdraw from China before receiving oil. This posed a difficult decision for Japan. If they were to leave China, the world would perceive it as surrendering to America with Hitler's support, which would be shameful for Japan. On the other hand, their oil supply was dwindling, weakening their strength. Japan chose not to leave China and instead devised a plan to capture Indonesia for its oil. However, this task was not easy. At that time, Indonesia was a colony of the Netherlands, and to reach there, Japan had to first capture the Philippines, which was under American control. Japan understood that if they attacked the Philippines, the Pacific Ocean would respond with retaliation from the American naval base at Pearl Harbor. Since Japan was rapidly losing its oil reserves, they felt they had no option but to launch an attack, not on the Philippines, but on the Pearl Harbor Air Base. Japanese military leaders decided on a surprise attack, aiming to destroy the airbase, allowing Japan to easily attack and capture the Philippines. Japan secretly prepared to attack Pearl Harbor and assembled a fleet consisting of two battleships, 39 submarines, 30 destroyers, and an astonishing 414 bomber aircraft. These aircraft took off from six aircraft carriers and embarked on their journey to Pearl Harbor, on the other side, if we look at the American forces stationed at Pearl Harbor, they had eight battleships, 59 anti-aircraft ships, four submarines, and 390 aircraft. At first glance, it seemed that America had the power to successfully defend against the Japanese attack. However, for this defense to be effective, it was crucial for America to have prior knowledge of the impending attack. Unfortunately, Japan kept their plans a secret, and the Japanese commanders decided to refrain from any wireless communication before the attack. The Japanese forces had covered a distance of 8,000 kilometers and were now only 370 kilometers away from Pearl Harbor. This was the critical point from which the aircraft would take off to launch the attack. It was poised to be the largest attack of World War II, and up until now, America had not been directly involved in the war. 
On the morning of December 7, 1941, at 7.57 a.m., 350 Japanese aircraft attacked Pearl Harbor in two separate groups. The Americans, who were unaware of this attack, were bombarded by the Japanese aircraft dropping bombs from the sky, like rain. The attack continued for 45 minutes before the first group of bombers retreated. Initially, it was believed that the attack had ended, but after 10 minutes, another group of bomber aircraft arrived and destroyed the remaining naval base with more bombs. This continuous attack lasted for 1 hour and 15 minutes, during which Japan had the upper hand in every aspect. As a result, the United States lost 20 vessels, 8 battleships, and over 300 planes. The earth was filled with fire, and the sky was covered with dark, smoky clouds. Among those present during the attack was Doris Miller, the African-American chef we mentioned at the beginning. While collecting laundry, Doris heard a siren. He wanted to go outside, but before he could, a Japanese torpedo hit their ship, injuring many officers, including the ship captain. Doris acted bravely by moving the injured to a safe location. He then went to an anti-aircraft machine gun and began attacking the Japanese aircraft. Despite having no training, he managed to destroy six Japanese bomber aircraft. Japan, on the other hand, lost a total of 29 aircraft. Doris Miller, the first African-American, received the Navy Cross, which is the U.S. Navy's biggest award and the second highest after the Medal of Honor. The Japanese aircraft returned after one hour and 15 minutes of attack, but their actions pushed America into World War II. Prior to this attack, America had not been involved in the war. In response, America decided to seek revenge and declared war against Japan. Over the next three months, America worked on restoring its naval base. Surprisingly, most of the damaged ships were in shallow water and could be repaired. After four months, America retaliated against Japan in a similar fashion to the Pearl Harbor attack. In April 1942, America dropped tons of bombs on the Japanese capital, Tokyo. This marked America's first attack in World War II, but they did not stop there. For the next four years, America and Japan engaged in a dangerous war, with America gaining the upper hand. Japan grew weaker throughout the conflict but refused to surrender to the Americans at any cost. In late August 1945, America played its final card against Japan. On August 6, 1945, at 8 o'clock in the morning, a Boeing B-29 Superfortress aircraft was spotted above Hiroshima, Japan. This aircraft dropped the little boy bomb, weighing 4,400 kilograms, on Hiroshima. After exactly 43 seconds, a massive explosion occurred, turning everything white. A fireball shot up from the ground, reaching the sky and raising the Earth's temperature to 5,000 degrees Celsius. This marked the first nuclear attack in history, which instantly destroyed over 80% of the buildings in Hiroshima. Japanese military leaders were shocked by this attack, but their shock intensified three days later, on August 9, when America dropped a nuclear bomb on the Japanese city of Nagasaki. This bomb, known as Fat Man, weighed 4,670 kilograms and erased the entire city from the face of the Earth. These were the first and last nuclear bombs to be used on humans. It is estimated that the attacks on Hiroshima and Nagasaki resulted in the deaths of 260,000 people. The following week, Japan surrendered to America, and with that, World War II came to an end.